Growing up, I was very like tomboy and I always wanted to fit in with the boys and like I cut my hair really short in like fifth grade but I still couldn't understand like why I wasn't just a boy. I heard the word transgender somewhere. I asked my grandma what it meant and then she explained that it's like someone born female identifies as a male but she put it very like in dumbed down terms for like a nine year old. At that point it really hit me and I was like, so there, there's a word to describe this. The short answer for how it feels to be a male in a female body is it sucks. I just feel really different. I'm, I wasn't born in the wrong body, I was born in a world where people don't understand what my body means. I guess at the very beginning I didn't cope. Like I was so harsh on myself and I, I hardly went outside and hung out with people just because I didn't feel right doing anything in the body I was in. It goes much deeper than a teenager and saying, oh, I don't like my body. I was ashamed of it and I felt like it was a problem and it was a burden to everyone else. The first time he came and talked to me about that, I, I don't know, I didn't really think anything of it to be totally honest when he came up to me and said, hey, my birth name is Kayla, but I want to go as Chase and identify as male. I said, okay. The people who are closest to me in my transition would definitely be Nika, Tyler, and then Mr. Wooden. I met Chase because he came out for choir this year and then we got to talking about things he liked doing, aspirations and goals that he had in his life. So we uh, started building a relationship both inside and outside of choir. I finally had come to terms with the fact that some people aren't going to like that I'm trans. And as upsetting as that may be, I'm not going to change their opinion. My suicide attempt was very public. I was gone for the first three days of my junior year, and I came back and everybody knew. Everyone knew. And they were all like, oh, are you back from the hospital? Because you tried to kill yourself. I look back at it now and I'm like, as much as that sucks and it hurts, and I was extremely upset about it before, I decided if you're gonna hate me, you're gonna hate me by yourself because I don't hate anyone. The way I cope with it is I'm very public about it. It's a thing that happened to a person I was. It's not something that's happening to a person I am. I see myself graduating going to college, being a teacher, and actually living my life the way I want it. Chase has goals to become a teacher, and specifically maybe even a choir teacher one day. So he comes in and he um, asks my advice, and we bond over uh, like mental health things, uh, just because uh, both he and I struggle uh, with, with that, and, and it's something that we battle every single day, so it's nice to be able to have somebody else that uh, feels the same things and, and, is able, and I'm able to help through that. I'm really close to Mr. Wooden because I was in a super bad place in my life and one day I had just decided like I couldn't handle it anymore and I planned to go home and kill myself. Wooden came up and he said hi to me and then I said hey, can I come into your office next mod and talk to you? I'm having a bad day. And so he and I were talking and I brought up my suicide attempt from that January and he got really quiet. He looked at me and he goes, I would be devastated if you killed yourself. Someone who doesn't even know me cares so much to claim they would be devastated. And I ended up just throwing everything away and like, a week later, I came to school and I walked into one's office and I told him the whole story and I was like, yeah, you basically saved my life. Doing what you want to do right next to your hero is a huge deal. Mr. Wooden and Concert Choir 100% saved my life. If you want something, keep reaching for it. No matter what other people say, 
it can be yours if you keep trying. Okay, that was gross. <laughs> I'm really glad he's not in here because he would have cried and then we would have had to <laughs> hug. And I'm not in the mood to hug right now. 